Good morning, hope you guys are having an amazing day. This is Sabor, aka Mr. Halal Foodie. Uh, today we're gonna actually um, head over to a vegan restaurant and uh, try some vegan food. As uh, some of you might know, uh, the vegan market is increasing. There's more people that are uh, going vegan because of the impact of meat uh, on the environment as well as on our health. Uh, so we wanted to go and try out the cuisine and uh, see what we're missing out. Uh, with that said, stay tuned. So we're here, just got uh, to Broadway. Gonna head and go pay for parking. Let's see this parking. From 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. seven days a week. Let's see. A dollar, wow, a dollar only gets you 10 minutes. I think you put six dollars here. Okay, I think one hour is enough. Just gonna head towards the cafe. It's called uh, Lotus Seed Vegan. They are close to the corner of Heather and Broadway. You guys remember we went to Pokidoki? To that corner over there. They're just down the road. They are where that bus stop is. Up ahead, the second one. That's where they're uh, close to. They have a couple of other. Uh, like uh, vitamin stores and other uh, healthy stuff. I think there's Pacific Hope on this side too. <laughs> so I guess they're between Heather and Willow on uh, Broadway. Here is Pacific Hope. The next one is 732 Newland Spa. And then we got Lotus seed vegan sprouting awareness. Looks delicious. We're gonna head inside. Talk to you. Looks like all of the dishes that they got looks delicious. Okay, let's head in. I actually have kombucha too here. For uh, those who don't know, what kombucha I think is made from fermented tea. And they have some more drinks and also coconut water. It's really nice. We're here with uh, Van, he's the owner of uh, Lotus Seed the Vegan Restaurant. He's going to tell us a little bit more about his restaurant and what motivated him to build this restaurant and what are the specialties that they serve. Good morning, Van. Hi, good morning. Uh, my name is Van. Uh, I opened this uh, restaurant, me and my wife opened this restaurant um, five years ago. And uh, the reason why we opened this one is uh, we want to shift our way of making a living. Uh, we would we, we like to contribute how we live in this earth by uh, by uh, not uh, harming animals. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's awesome. That's a great great thing uh, to do. It takes um, basically uh, imp reduces the impact on the environment as well as on the animals. So, and it's a healthier option as well. Of course. So what what are the special some of the specialties that you guys have here? Uh, over here we kind of. Uh, uh, 
cooked uh, fusion, mostly international uh, menu, such as uh, Thai curry, Alfredo, or uh, sometimes uh, uh, pesto, ragu. That's awesome. Yeah. And uh, you guys also served this morning the Vietnamese uh, coffee. So do you have um, some Vietnamese products here as well that you serve? Yes, uh, I am uh, born in Vietnam. Okay. So if, if that's where I come from. Uh, awesome. And then I'm uh, to, uh, leaning toward vegan. So uh, I create a cashew condensed milk. That's, that's perfect. Yeah. It tastes delicious. Thank you. And uh, when did you guys open? Uh, five years ago, five years ago. Um, to, to, uh, 2014. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And, and how is the response there from the community? Uh, uh, our business is growing uh, organically, slowly, slowly. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. great to hear. Yeah. And um, what are the business hours? Business hour here is uh, 11 to 8 uh, from Sunday to Tuesday, and then Wednesday to Sari is eight, uh, 11 to 9. Okay. Yeah. And uh, can you tell the viewers uh, your website as well as any social media accounts that you might have, like oh, Facebook or Instagram, Twitter? Okay. Yeah, we have uh, lotusseed.ca. Mm -hmm. uh, our um, Instagram is lotusseedvegan. And also uh, uh, Twitter is uh, lotusseed604. Okay. Yeah. And do you guys also have a Facebook account? Facebook, Lotus Seed Vegan. Lotus Seed Vegan. Yeah. Okay, perfect. And uh, are there any delivery options available? Uh, yes, we do use uh, um, DoorDash and um, okay. Foodora. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's perfect. Did you have anything else that you wanted to share with the viewers today then? Yeah. Uh, please eat healthy. Please eat a lot of veggie. Thank if, you. If you guys are on uh, Broadway between Willow and Heather area anytime, um, or even in downtown Vancouver, drop by, check them out. They have a beautiful restaurant uh, and the menu is uh, delicious. So drop by, check them out, say hi to Van and uh, try their vegan uh, menu. So thank you very much, Van. Thank you. And we wish you guys best of luck in your endeavors. Thank you. And the first drink we got is a Vietnamese coffee. It's a full cup with lots of ice, so I guess it's a cold uh, drink. It smells really smoky, really dark. It looks really rich. Now you can see it has probably cream or uh, tons of milk. Wow. It's sweet, it's creamy, and it's dark. But it's not so dark like an espresso. I think the, the cream or the milk that they put, it takes a little bit of um, that bitterness. And you get a little bit of like a coffee aftertaste, but it's, it's not strong. I'm gonna ask them to see whether they actually put the uh, milk in there. Or most likely, you know what, because it's vegan, it's either almond milk or it's coconut milk. It doesn't taste like coconut milk, so I'm betting on almond milk, but we'll confirm. Alright guys, the food here is amazing, it smells really good. This is the um, curry with some brown rice, fried rice. It smells a little like lemony. It smells really good. Just give the curry a taste. Wow. 
that's sweet and a little bit sour it's like lemony there's potatoes there's carrots uh, there's green beans the cabbage the curry is rich That's good. Just gonna try with the rice. As you can see. There's a lot of different flavors that are in there. It's actually yam. Mm -hmm. So I think they got regular potato, yam, green beans. I think I've been missing out. It's just some delicious, delicious food. I come here, I don't really need to be. <laughs> the flavors are all there. Mm. Let's give the Benedict a try. So I want to first try the sauce. Rich. A hint of garlic, but I'm not sure if that's the garlic that I'm tasting. Portobello mushroom. Wow, that's good. That's really good. There's some avocados, and I think they've sprinkled some spices on top. The sauce is not strong at all, like it, it's, it doesn't overpower, but it has a good creamy texture to it. Then the yam, they have spiced it up. Looks like I think rosemary and many other could be cumin as well, they have on top. The outside of it is slightly crispy, but it's really nice. And I have a bite. I didn't try this soy cheese yet. I'm gonna give this cheese a taste. Sample. So this is the soy based cheese mm. it's similar to tofu the texture is soft it's cheesy but it's not um, it's not heavy the exact same uh, taste as uh, tofu but it goes really well this is an amazing breakfast lots of veggies you know avocado mushroom yeah, and then green salad, so you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong with this. No wonder they say the vegan diet is good for our health because it's all greenery, it's all veggie, it's all healthy ingredients and fresh ingredients. Next one is the wrap. This it also has portobello mushroom, it has carrots, bean sprouts, uh, cilantro, lettuce. And then it's wrapped, I think, in a uh, rice paper. And the sauce, they said it's peanut and miso based. You can smell that strong peanut smell from the, the sauce.
it's fresh, you get the crispiness and the crunchiness to the carrot and the bean sprout and the sauce has peanut uh, taste to it but it's not strong. Um, instead actually you get like a smoky smell from it. Here's cilantro, carrot, mushroom, lettuce. Guys, I'm going to continue with this breakfast brunch. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family that might enjoy this video or watch it like being in the food items. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, make sure to subscribe. It only takes a couple of seconds. And we're gonna work as hard as we can to bring you guys great great restaurants and great reviews unique ones so thank you very much for always supporting us and we'll see you in the next one take care